Yes, I'm picking Tom. If I'm starting a franchise in uh, NFL history, that, I'll probably start it with Tom Brady. Were you surprised <laughs> that the Patriots came back against this defense? No. You could take Tom Brady and you could dr- drop him at the Jacksonville Jaguars right now and the odds will go up that they're going to probably go to the Super Bowl. That's how great he's been. The Patriots never feel as though they're out of the game. But did you? No. Because Brady, I always tell my friends, never pick against Brady. He wants to win that badly that he'll take less money. He's left over $100 million on the table to win championships. Ask anybody who knows me, don't pick against Brady. You're never out of it. Off the field, what he brings, his leadership, and then his ability to say, I'll take less money so we can build a championship yep, franchise. There you go. All we I'm need win, is five more minutes. I'm going to win rings with him. And I think even with Tom, look, he was trying to say, hey, look, I know that my family wants me around a little bit more. Everyone knows how I do it. Everyone knows in order to play at the level that I play at, you have to be all in in a way that is uncommon, man. And we say it all the time, as long as you give Brady time, he's going to find a way to but pick your part. Tom, make no mistake about it. That everything, his preparation, his willingness to put everything into it, he has no other life. I believe everything he says, it is <laughs> all about winning. Tom Brady, when he's on the field, he does what he needs to be. What he preach, he does. Look, many people think that they work hard at their jobs, but they're really not necessarily, I don't know if they necessarily are working to the degree that the people who are the very best, the transcendent individuals, the truly transcendent individuals are working in order to put out that kind of performance with the, which they put out. And, so, and I think Tom is one of those types of guys. LT said something profound last week. He said, I think Brady is the best ever. What I want to do is just make sure we reset what the conversation is about who is better or who gets the credit, Belichick or Brady. I think it's more Brady. Think about it. Belichick had five entire coaching seasons as a head coach in Cleveland and in New England before Brady steps on the field. And Belichick lost more than he won. Now, injury occurs, Brady comes on, and all of a sudden this losing coach becomes a winning coach and not only winning coach to the greatest of all time coach. And then we sit there and says that Tom Brady's legacy takes a backseat to Belichick's greatness. For that... I'm like, nope, I'm resetting that. Tom Brady is the one that helped Belichick more so than the other way around. Who, who do you think got the best shot at the Super Bowl next year? Uh, who's ever Tom Brady play? Who would I want to play with of all time ever? I'd, I'd probably say, yeah, Tom. Once Gronk's out of the game, mm-hmm. there's not one wide receiver on the team, although they've got some good ones that you would say is in the top 20 in the league. Okay? No. There's not. No. Yeah. yeah. No, they don't. Come on. Who? But what I'm saying is, is that they right. don't have a top no, 20 right. receiver. No, they don't. They, they don't. don't. Right. Oh, no, I agree. Okay, so, right, I so agree. we agree. They don't have a top 12 running back in the league. Some right. very good guys, especially in the system. So what I'm saying is... Deion Lewis can play. He can play. Okay. But when, if you're having a fantasy draft, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, right. You're not picking him as a top 12 running back. Right. So they don't have those guys that pop and wow you and all that sort of stuff. So it's Brady and the offensive line, and somehow it still it's gets Brady done. Brady and them. Oh, no. They have a team. So you're talking about individuals. Mm-hmm. These guys don't get caught up in Pro Bowls. Yeah. These guys get caught up in Super Bowls. Uh-huh. Yeah, he's my favorite quarterback. Well, he's not greater Tom than Tom Brady. Brady. And I was yeah. Tom Brady plays inside the numbers. Yeah, That's where the game was played. We've never seen, other than to me, Ali, seen a guy with this level of accomplishment overcome the kind of odds against opponents. Were, the, the Chargers, to me, were the better team. They were. But Brady has been a part of establishing a culture in New England that it doesn't matter if you're better than them. You, still, you better show up more prepared than them mm, or there's a problem. I agree with And that's you. the same thing Muhammad Ali had, and that's why of this generation, he's the Ali. What he did today with Dot Gronk was simply incredible to me. That performance today catapulted yeah. him up to being the best that ever did it. You mean yeah, Belichick so. finding Brady? Belichick finding Brady. Because he was losing without Brady. Brady said, hey, don't put that on me. I know I Bel- Belichick. They're going to be in the Super Bowl again. That's a bold prediction. That's what happens every year, right? That's what happens every year. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the numbers, you just sort of run out of ways to describe them. But let me give you this. This will be the fourth time Brady has started the Super Bowl since turning 39 years old. Peyton Manning was the only other quarterback ever to have done that. Brady also becomes the oldest player at any position 
to play in the Super Bowl. He will break the prior record held by Matt Stover. And you heard in the call there, it's been 18 years since the Buccaneers were in the Super Bowl. Last time they did it, this man was playing for them. Here's Keyshawn Johnson from KJZ on ESPN Radio Coast to Coast, who joins us here for a moment. Thanks a million for this, Key. And so let's just start with Brady there and the Bucs. What, what words do we use to describe him going to his 10th Super Bowl? Uh, head scratching to me. I mean, it's like, for real? Again? Like, pinch me. It's just, it's it's pretty wild. I never thought in my lifetime I would see a guy go to 10 Super Bowls, especially at the quarterback spot, right? It's It should be illegal. I mean, guys only go three, maybe two times, but it's 10? Like 10. Makes no sense at all whatsoever. Thank you for watching, and please like and subscribe as I post a new Tom Brady video every day.